Welcome back, dear students of second prep. Let's go to start our lesson today as the first episode of first term science. Here we have to know the first lesson classification of the elements or the attempts to classification of the elements. Taban, here we want to know the reasons to uh, classify the elements and the main attempts to classify the elements in our syllabus in this term. So let's go our lesson to explain our lesson today with the classification of the elements. Here we have, as you see on uh, the monitor, classification of the elements. Here we have the atomic number. As we see, the number of protons in the nucleus or electrons in the energy levels. The number of protons, positive charge in the nucleus or the electrons in the energy levels as we studied before in first prep. Number two, the mass number. Mass number as we uh, studied before in first prep also we have the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Here we have inside the nucleus we have two particles as we have positive particles, protons and with other with gray color inside the nucleus here we have neutrons which have the neutral charge or no charge outside the nucleus in the energy levels we have negative particles these negative particles are called electrons so here we have number one give reason for why scientists try to classify elements why scientists try to classify the elements here we have two reasons to classify the elements reason number one to be easy to study the elements here we classify anything to be easy to study and number two to know the relation between the elements their chemical and physical properties to know the relation between the elements their chemical and physical properties so we have two reasons to classify the elements to be easy to study the elements, to know the relation between the elements, their physical or chemical and physical properties. Okay, trials to classifying elements. We have three main attempts to classify the elements. Number one, Mendeleev's periodic table. Number two, Mosley periodic table. Number three, model periodic table. The first scientist who make a modern classification of the elements his name is Dmitry Mendeleev a Russian scientist and second one is Mosley third classification is the model periodic table okay we will start with Mendeleev's periodic table as we see here he classified only known 67 elements so we should remember the number of elements in Mendeleev's era in ascending order from the smallest one to the biggest one according to their atomic mass which means atomic weight so now we know Mendeleev classify only 67 elements according to their atomic weight which means mass number in what order in ascending order in ascending order from the smallest one in atomic weight to the biggest one in the atomic weight but at the same time as we see in any table we have groups vertical columns from up to down so here we have groups from up to down as we see here we have columns from up to down and these columns are called groups as we see but Mendeleev classify each group into two subgroups a and b a and b why because they have different properties so we know each group in Mendeleev's periodic table is classified into two subgroups A and B because they have different properties not similar because it classified into two subgroups as branches from the same main group number two periods so what is meant by periods here as horizontal rows horizontal rows from left to right 
so Mendeleev classified or make his table consists of vertical columns from up to down and horizontal rows from left to right as we see as any table columns we will use term group instead of columns and at the same time we will use period instead of rows so we have groups and periods here we have choose the correct answer number one the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus is called what we know is called yes atomic weight questions about the previous points in our lesson today next question is scientists classify the elements to what be easy to study know the relation between physical and chemical properties or all the previous so scientists attempt to classify elements to both points has as we have here all the previous to be easy to study to know the relation between physical and the chemical properties of the elements question number three the first attempt to classify the element done by scientists we have scientists here his name is Mendeleev the fourth question Mendeleev classified the elements according to their atomic number atomic mass all the previous so here we have atomic mass and atomic mass which means atomic weight the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus next point here in our lesson Mendeleev classified only how many elements as we know Mendeleev classify only yes 67 elements 67 elements the vertical columns in the Mendeleev's periodic table are called what? We know columns are called groups. Question number seven. Horizontal rows in the Mendeleev's periodic table are called columns, periods, or groups. So the horizontal rows in the Mendeleev's periodic table are called periods. Mendeleev classified each group in his table into two subgroups A, B, or A, C, D, or E, F. So Mendeleev classified each group in his table into two subgroups which A and B. Okay. Elements in subgroups A and B have different properties, similar properties, or no correct answer we know Mendeleev classified each, uh, each uh, group into two subgroups A and B because they have different properties okay dear students next point in our lesson today is advantages and disadvantages of Mendeleev's table advantages good points and disadvantages which means disturbance of Mendeleev's table advantages of Mendeleev's table good points number one left some gaps empty cells in his table how come this point becomes I'll become as advantage how come we have answer here Mendeleev as you see in his table left gaps spaces empty cells as you see here empty cell here and empty cell here as you see empty cells in his table why he predicted to discover a new element in the future so Mendeleev left some gaps as advantage point here he predicted to discover a new elements in the future next point he corrected some atomic masses of some elements we know atomic masses which means atomic weights or mass number so Mendeleev corrected some atomic masses of some elements in his table Mendeleev correct some atomic masses 
Next point, disadvantages of Mendeleev's periodic table, which means disturbance, bad points. Here we have, he put more than one element in the same cell. Put more than one element in the same cell. That's disadvantage points. So why? As we see here, we have, for example, in this place, we have iron, cobalt, and nickel. And here we have calcium, zinc. And here we have manganese and bromine. So both two elements like uh, zinc uh, and uh, silicon. So why Mendeleev put more than one element in the same place or in the same cell or in the same square? Why? Yes, as we see, because they have similar atomic weight. So if uh, Mendeleev put more than one element in the same place or in the same cell, why? Because they have the same atomic weight. Okay, next point. Here we have three atoms. Hydrogen, deuterium, tritium. As we see, the lower number is atomic number, as we studied before in first prep. But the higher number is, or the upper number, is the atomic weight, which means mass number. As we see, we have three atoms. They are similar in atomic number, but they are different in mass number. So, Mendeleev classified or considered these elements as different elements, but this theory or this view is completely wrong. Why? because they have the same atomic number. So here we have disadvantage as Mendeleev considered the isotopes as different elements. And why? Because they have different atomic weights or atomic weights. So Mendeleev has uh, his own excuse here because Mendeleev classified the elements according to atomic weight. So Mendeleev considered isotopes as different elements because they have different atomic weights. So what is meant by isotopes? Isotopes, which means elements have the same atomic number, as you see here, element have the same atomic number, but they have different mass number. As we see here, we have atomic number here and here and here 111. But at the same time, mass number or atomic weight is different. Here 1, here 2, and here is 3. So we know what is meant by isotopes, which means element have the same atomic weight, uh, sorry, same atomic number, but different what atomic weight and Mendeleev considered isotopes as different elements because they have different atomic what atomic weight okay as we see here next point Rutherford Rutherford the next scientist here after Mendeleev. As we see here, Rutherford discovered positive protons in the nucleus. The first scientist discovered the positive protons in the nucleus. His name is Rutherford. And we know protons exist in the nucleus and the protons carry the positive charge inside the nucleus. So now Rutherford opened the door for the atomic number. Now we know a new concept in scientists is called atomic number. So Rutherford discovered the positive protons in the nucleus. After Rutherford, another scientist, his name is Mosley, Mosley classified the elements in his own table, in his own table as Mosley's 
periodic table, not Mendeleev's periodic table. So here we have arranged the elements in ascending order, like Mendeleev, but according to their atomic number, not atomic weight. Not atomic weight. Number two, or number one, he add noble gases or inert gases in zero group. Why zero group? Because they didn't share in chemical reactions. We know noble gases or inert gases, inactive gases, doesn't or didn't lose or gain or share by electrons during the chemical reaction. So they have zero valency. So mostly put the noble gases or inert gases in zero group. The number one. Number two, specify place below his table, the periodic table of Mosley. Place below the periodic table for elements called lanthanides and actinides. Rare elements exist in the Earth's crust are called lanthanides and actinides. Mosley put their or these elements in place below the table for lanthanides and actinides. Okay? Yeah, but now we know Mosley's periodic table and Mendeleev periodic table. Mosley arranged the elements in descending order according to the atomic number. He add noble gases or inner gases in zero group. Number two, specify place below the periodic table for lanthanides and actinides. Okay, dear students, till this point, we will stop to explain lesson one, unit one, attempts classification of the elements. And today we study why the uh, scientists attempt to classify the elements to be easy study and know the physical with chemical properties of the elements. Number two, Mendeleev's periodic table, classification 67 elements according to atomic weight in ascending order and advantages with disadvantages of Mendeleev's periodic table. Uh, uh, second scientist, his name is Rutherford and Rutherford discover uh, the positive protons so now we know atomic number because the atomic number is the number of only positive protons inside the nucleus so mostly classified his table according to atomic number and in ascending order and mostly uh, put noble gases in zero group at the same time lanthanides and actinides below his table until we meet again thank you dear students see you and goodbye